Hey friends, my today's video is towards the Geo users. As you have already know, Geo has you reached millions of subscribers by now, and we know that it's a completely 4G service. But then there's a catch in it, that it's the 4G services itself have three different band. There's a band 40 that operates on 2300 megahertz that has the highest speed that goes up to 40 Mbps and then there is a band 5 which operates on 1800 MHz and it has speed still 18 to 20 Mbps and then there is a band 3 that has the least speed it operates on 850 MHz and the speeds hardly reach a 5 to 8 Mbps so in this case whenever we have a slow internet on our 4G phones we would obviously want to know what band we are connected to and try to switch to a place which has a better band so Generally, by default in our phones, we do not have this visibility and hence, we have this application called Net Velocity Light that helps us find out what current bands our phones are connected to. Once we open this application, we only see the operator right now. Just go to the settings of the application and then there is an advanced mode. Turn that advanced mode on and come back and we are able to see operator 4G and then in the next line we are seeing the band information. So when I am seeing that my phone is on the band uh, 850 that is band 3, I am I can be I can know that okay I am receiving slow speeds. I can move to a convenient location or an open space or some good place at my home and stay there for some time and I would get a better band as you can see as soon as I have changed my location my band has changed to 1800 that's band 5 and if I stay here for some more time I would get a better uh, connection of band 2300 so in that way I can get better speeds for my phone. And additionally, I just wanted to warn the users, just wanted to let the users know that I would not advise going for the tutorials where they ask us to uh, go into the star hash star hash 4636 hash star hash stars, these things because then again you know you won't uh, i have tried those on many phones not all the phones support it and then again you will have an additional headache of changing things my best advice would be to leave your phone undisturbed at a good place and the phone itself will connect to a better band in few times it's just that we do we have to leave our phones undisturbed I hope this video helps the Geo users. Like you can see, if I'm not moving my phone, my phone is connecting to the band 40, 2300 MHz in some times. If just I let it be there for 5 more minutes, I'll have the right band on my phone. So I hope this video helps all the Geo users to know the right band. And do like and share the video if you found it useful. Thanks for watching.